So a lot of stuff has happened in Volvrave, yes. Um, another giant battle between the Dotians and, you know, uh, Earth. And in this episode, it's sort of started off that so, like, Haruto still constantly has everyone, like, only if, like his closest friends already found out about the Valve Raves and saying, you know, you can't touch these ones. And luckily, a lot of his friends backed him up. However, the student president was like, you know, yeah, he wasn't too happy about this. And, you know, the rest of part of this episode was just them dicking around, making cooking and shit like that. Um, but I really did like this part where Elle actually made a coup <laughs> Um I probably butchered the hell out of that name. But he was saying, you know, this is what um, the future of the country is. And he was saying, you know, oh, you need to do military development, uh, territorial expansion, the GEOR. You have to, like, pilot selection tests. You have to do all this sort of stuff and a military treaty with Aerus. Um, so he had it all pretty much figured out from the start. And I really did like um, one of the girls. Uh, I think her name was Ina. Ina. Um, she was like sort of giving Haruto like some confidence throughout the way, and she was like, I think she's like, she was going out with the other guy at the point, but um, before too long, they actually got attacked since um, one of them came in and actually tried to uh, bring back El Elf back, and uh, you know it was really like, of course, seeing that like the battle, you got to see um, Rukino's um, Carmelia again, like doing some action with like the whole bouncing through space and stuff. That was pretty cool. Um, and as well, like, they tried to stop her by using, like, these magnetic ways, and Haruto really got screwed over as he got shot quite a couple of times. And, but luckily, by controlling, um, El Elf, he was able to use the Volvrate, and he actually told him in the note, because he planned this, like, El Elf is sort of someone who plans everything beforehand, uh, beforehand and knows everything, and he's saying, you know, oh, this guy's used to doing this, or he's used to doing that, he's saying, destroy that, that's where the boomerangs will be, um... They retreated and like everything's like oh everything's all okay. Unfortunately, uh, Ina wasn't too much. She was in the blows uh, during that happened, and she has well she's dead really because I don't think she's gonna be getting out of there. I mean you took a freaking Gatling gun to there, there'll blood everywhere. So yeah, she pretty much got fucked over. I mean I think there was even parts of her body even like missing. Um, so they're a bit uh, like you know blacked out. Um, but yeah, damn, it was pretty, you know, shocking, like, the guy, um, the boyfriend was, like, screaming and all that, and we found a little bit about El Elf later in this episode, as we saw, as he poured, and there was, and it had a, a little girl, like, with a white hair, and her name was, um, Leech, which is, you know, light, it's, like, uh, translated as light, and it's, like, um, a girl with white hair, uh, and I'm guessing this is, like, the princess of the Dorsians, like, um, this is probably what I'm getting, and I'm get like, El Elf was, like, in love with her, or, like, she was very close to her. I'm getting love, like, because she, I'm, she must, like, appear later on in the series, like, as we've seen her already, but, like, next week, like, they apparently there are going to be, like, some little squabbles going on between the group, and there seems to be, like, they actually get more prepared for the battle, um, and the next episode is Stage of the Princess of Light, so you should hopefully, hopefully see Lilch, um, but other than that, I really want to see some more pilots already. Um, like I, they did say like Thunder looks like he wants to try and do it. Um, I think that's what they call him. I can't remember his full name. Um, I would like to see him use um, one. I mean, we we still got the bow, the magician, and we got that other one and the gold one because from the start of the episode, there was a gold one, and it was Rukina. Now I don't know if this was a dream or is it two hundred years in the future. That something might happen, and she called them the Seven Golden Rainbows, I believe. So, what's going on with that? Like, um, are they interested to see um, what's going to happen with that? But that's all for me, everyone. So, thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, Strap Panda, and I'll see you next time, you all.